Hey everybody, and welcome back to Tacoma Tuesday. Today, we're gonna go over a few things. My lift and why I chose it, tire plug kit, first aid kit, tailgate pad, memory foam mattress. Woo! So let's go ahead and start with the lift. I chose a 3-1 lift for a few reasons. I wanted more ground clearance, and because of having a long bed truck, the wheelbase has increased quite a bit, so the overall center clearance point changes when you're off-roading. If you guys have a recommendation on rock sliders for the long bed, please leave it in the comments below. After the wheel and tire package, I knew I needed a plug kit, because I don't want to go out buying a random tire, especially having off-road tires, buying a new one when the other ones are half worn out. It's just a big headache. And then also you can't pick back on the spare tire without it being offset, being a smaller tire and rim setup, but this opens up the need for an onboard compressor. I've seen a few different ones that were mounted inside the little bed pockets on the side of the truck. I've also seen some that are mounted under the hood. What do you guys use? Cause I'm gonna need to get something for a inflation. If I'm gonna air down or air up or fix a flat on the fly, I'd love you guys' feedback cause I really have no knowledge besides what I'm kind of looking up. And I really like to know what really works in the real world. So moving on to the first aid kit. Everybody wants to be the hero to save the day and a cheap inexpensive first aid kit is the best way to do it. I got one for 10 bucks. It's got your basic things inside of it that can assist for a little bit of comfort knowing that you have something. And the other part about that is if it gets too serious, well, I got a lifted Tacoma and I can bash through whatever I want and get to the closest hospitals. And as you know, I'm a cyclist, so I need a way to carry bikes on the fly. It's super simple for me. So I went to my local shop, Adventure Cycles, and picked up a truck pad. This truck pad will allow me to go ahead and carry up to eight bikes of shuttling. Really, I'm only gonna need two bikes, but what I do like to do is take the pad. I don't strap it in. I just set up the tailgate, put the bike on. So then when I take the bike off, I can just toss it in the back of the truck and the truck begins, goes back to looking clean like I want it to all the time. And for our last upgrade, we're gonna go with a 12 inch memory foam mattress that comes in a box, a couple hundred bucks, that I'm gonna use for truck camping and boondocking. So they say go ahead and let this thing sit and expand all the way out so that you get the full 12 inches because right now it doesn't really look like quite 12 inches full thickness. Every guy wished this meant 12 inches, but not quite 12 inches, but it's gotta go ahead and expand. I thought like there's a middle lane in here that needs to stretch and breathe. So we're gonna go ahead and let that happen right now. And the big thing about you're gonna ask yourself is how are you gonna put a mattress in the back of the truck when it's wide open, you don't have a tent, you don't have anything to cover it, you don't have tarps, some of those things. Lucky for you, stay tuned for the next Tacoma Tuesday because we're going hard shell. Until next time, thanks for watching. Make sure to slide down there and hit the subscribe button. I'm Steady Spin and hope to see you out on an adventure soon. So this truck is a beast. The best thing about this truck is that two wheel drive, we definitely put it through quite a little ringer there, probably a little bit more than we probably should have, uh, but it worked great. So as you can see, maybe two wheel just is too steep for, for two wheel drive. We're gonna go ahead and put it in four wheel high, get a little gas and see what we can do. Four wheel low, obviously, you put in four wheel low and this truck is chomping through stuff. Four wheel high got us up the same stuff though. Hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll catch you out on your next adventure. This motherfucker wasn't even damn recording. Piece of shit.